Clinical psychology is a popular field for many undergraduate students for many different reasons. It is highly competitive and it's not enough just to choose it for the money. You need passion to succeed and to help patients. They usually work with other health professionals such as nurses and doctors in hospitals, health centres and other NHS services but can also work in private practice. Your first step to be a clinical psychologist is to take a three-year undergraduate course in psychology followed by a three-year postgraduate degree in clinical psychology and finally a PhD in clinical psychology which is usually spent conducting research. We will now demonstrate an example of a mental health issue some clinical psychologists specialise in treating known as gender dysphoria. So to conclude this session you've told me you have very strong desires to live as a woman and you feel far more comfortable in clothing of the opposite sex. Absolutely. Every day I wake up confused and disgusted by my own reflection. I've tried several different personas but nothing seems to fit. Every connection I make just feels like nobody can see me for who I really am. And it scares me because I can just get them to see who I want them to see. Okay, I understand what you're saying. Following what you've said, the next possible steps, as well as our sessions, we can also offer peer support groups, hormone treatments, ways to behave as your desired gender, and eventually, if you're completely sure about what you want, I can recommend you for a sex change operation. There really isn't anything there I wouldn't agree to, but um, when would I possibly be able to start hormone treatment? Well, we're on our second month of interviews. It's a standard procedure for there to be a period of three months before we can administer any hormones. You would be given oestrogen injections, and depending on how long they take to produce results depends on when, if you wanted it, the sex change operation would take place, but we can talk about that more in a couple of weeks. Okay, well, I think I'd definitely start with a hormone treatment, and I can't deny it, I may not show it, but I'm incredibly nervous about the whole experience, but I guess you could say it's a little bit of excitement as well. It's just something I've dreamed of, really, and oh, I'm so grateful for you for helping me actually make this a reality. I'm, I'm really looking forward to this next month. What's the plan? Right, well, do you think you'll be able to come to a support session this Thursday evening? The session is here at five o'clock. We'll discuss things such as how to dress in your preferred gender, which you mentioned you had an issue with, and just general experience of people in your situation. You can remain anonymous as well if you want. Oh, that sounds really welcoming. I might be five minutes late or so, but I'll definitely be there. OK, no problem. In the meantime, I will sort out the necessary paperwork for your hormone treatment. Any last minute questions or thoughts before we wrap up? No, thank you very much, Doctor. I'll see you on Thursday for that group session. Some of the biggest challenges involved in being a clinical psychologist include working as a part of a large, complicated system such as the NHS or dealing with other workers in private practice whose decisions you may not always agree with. Nevertheless, being a clinical psychologist is a highly rewarding experience as you are able to see patients recognise their own behaviour and develop appropriate strategies to benefit themselves, as you saw in our demonstration. This is one way in which clinical psychology benefits the real world on an individual scale, but they are undoubtedly an incredibly important part of our medical system.